students, you are given a reaction on the board. It says sulfur trioxide is dissolved in concentrated sulfuric acid. Sulfur trioxide is a gas, when it is passed through, it, it gets dissolved. It's soluble in this, and the product is obtained. And you are asked to identify the incorrect statement regarding the product here. And what are the statements given? You are asked to identify the oxidation state of sulfur. And they say it is an example of peroxy component. It has got oxygen oxygen linkage or peroxy linkage. Or in its structure, it has a sulfur oxygen sulfur bond. And on the whole, it is a dibasic acid and its basicity is 2. And you are asked to identify the incorrect statement. Now, let us look at the product form. Now, when sulfur trioxide dissolved in sulfuric acid, you get H2, S2, O7. You just add them together H2, S2, and O7, and this is called pyrosulfuric acid. This is called pyrosulfuric acid. This is one of the oxy acids of sulfur. It is also called oleum or it is also known as fuming sulfuric acid. Fuming sulfuric acid. It is much powerful, more concentrated and concentrated sulfuric acid. Maybe this is used as a sulfonating agent uh, towards uh, aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. Now, let us look at the structure of pyrosulfuric acid. The structure of pyrosulfuric acid, it is a dibasic acid, therefore, it has got 2 OH group. So, let me put a cone for 2 sulfur atom and 2 OH groups and the presence of 2 OH groups are responsible for dibasic nature and uh, each sulfur atom is connected to the oxygen atom like your sulfuric acid. So, we have already accounted for 6 oxygen atoms and 2 hydrogen atoms and 2 sulfur, we have to account for one more oxygen atom and this is there between sulfur, 2 sulfur atom. Therefore, now look at the structure by students and find out the oxidation state of sulfur is given as plus 6. It says the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 6. Now, let us, let us verify. Now, this is going to be sulfur is x and it is surrounded by minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 here. Therefore, this is going to be plus 2 only when it is going to be sorry plus 6 here plus 6 and uh, I can identify this. Let the oxidation state of sulfur be x here and for 2 sulfur atom it is 2 x here and for hydrogen atom is plus 1, for 2 hydrogen atom is plus 2 and oxygen is going to be minus 2 for 7 oxygen atom is going to be minus 2. Therefore, 2 x minus 12 equal to 0. The entire molecule is neutral. Therefore, 2 x is equal to 12 here and x is equal to plus 6 per sulfur per sulfur. Therefore, this is going to be plus 6 here and, uh, and they are surrounded by uh, 4 oxygen atoms minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 and plus 1 there. Therefore, it is going to be. And another important, okay, let us finish off this uh, the uh, queries over here. And uh, has it got oxygen oxygen linkage? No, it is not a peroxy acid. What is a peroxy acid? Any acid containing oxygen oxygen linkage is called a peroxy acid. For example, H2SO5 permonosulfuric acid is a paracid. This is called permonosulfuric acid. Permonosulfuric acid. It has got the parasit. H2, S2, O8, this is an example of paradisulfuric acid. Paradisulfuric acid. Paradisulfuric acid. Paradisulfuric acid. So, the both, both of them are called parasites. Parasite means it has got oxygen and oxygen linkage, whereas this particular compound acid is not a peroxo acid. Therefore, this statement is incorrect here. This statement is correct A, B, C, D. A is the option here, B is this option and C. Yes, C is a correct statement. It has got, it has got sulfur oxygen linkage. Sulfur oxygen linkage, it is dibasic acid. How do you know it is dibasic acid? Because it reacts with the two moles, one mole of uh, paradisulfuric acid, uh, sorry, 
one mole of pyro, uh, pyrosulfuric acid requires two moles of sodium hydroxide for complete neutralization and this this and maybe at another point I shall give you additional point here they can ask you the bond angle uh, at the, the central oxygen atom is it going to be linear or it is going to be um, uh, non-linear now my dear students please see here there are two <coughs> bond pairs two bond pairs and lone pairs two lone pairs two lone pairs and two bond pairs four pairs of an electron so being a four pairs of an electron it must be tetrahedral only therefore this can be a lone pair here this can be a lone pair here this can be uh, connected to uh, s uh, some other atom s o3 this is so3h okay and this is connected to so3h here Therefore, it cannot be a linear molecule, it should be an angular molecule. And being a tetrahedral, would you expect the bond angle around 109 or greater than 109 or less than 109? That could be another question here. And these groups are much different, a bulkier groups here. And uh, uh, they go apart, therefore the bond angle should be definitely much greater than 109.5. And these are the, some of the additional points that you should know regarding this. And this pyrosulfuric acid is a very strong acid, highly corrosive acid, much, much more corrosive than concentrated sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid. Therefore, in this question, my dear students, the option is B, that pyrosulfuric acid is not a parasite.